it's day five and according to our timetable we have grids frames and four frame mixture with samples from amazon when we start designing you would understand what all these things mean the grid and the frame and the four frame mixture someone specifically begged me that if i want to explain grid and frame i should please use a sample from amazon so let's explain what grid book covers mean look at this one look at this one there's something similar look at this look at this one all these covers that have plenty images in partitions today we're going to explain or i'm going to show you how to design them it's very easy in fact it's the easiest type of book covers to design let's get started if this is your first time on my channel welcome today is the fifth day of this book cover design challenge and the aim of this challenge is to help you build a stronger book cover design skill so that you can design beautiful covers that will help you increase your click through rate and when you increase your click through rates you are definitely going to make sales because the more people click the higher your chances of making a lot of sales as you can see we have day one day two day three day four and today is day five so if this is the first video you are watching from this challenge please go back and watch it from day one so that we can be on the same page and you'll be able to understand how to design book covers perfectly because we'll be designing 30 book covers in 15 days and today is the fifth day it means you've missed 10 different covers Go back, watch the videos so you can design your own covers and join us on this video. So, for the purpose of this video, I would want us to recreate this particular book cover exactly the way it looks. As you can see, the cover has colors red, blue and black with a lot of recipe images. We are going to design this exact book cover but I am going to add my own creativity to it so it will look more beautiful than this one this is canva and we have our design interface ready our blank design interface the first thing you want to do here is to go to elements once you click on elements you just search grid g r i d like this when you search grid like this you tap enter or you hit the search button and then you will see grids you see grids then you see see all you click on see all once you click see all you would start seeing different grids from one phase grid to two phase grid landscape and portrait three phase grid four phase depending on the type of cover you want to design you can now choose the grid that fits your design but for the purpose of this video and the type of cover we want to design we will need to scroll down where we can have like eight or nine phase grids okay you just keep scrolling down until you see the ones that have a lot of faces like this you see this one has a lot of faces just keep scrolling down until you get something that makes sense now let's take this one i think i like this one let's just click on it if you see the one you like there are a lot of them look at this look at this let's just take this one once you click it it will cover up your design interface like this as you can see no image nothing let me zoom it all these lines you are seeing all these demarcations means that you can put an image to fill up each of these boxes so let's start downloading our images and putting them here for us to see you go to pixabay or pexels to download any image that depicts the book cover you are designing so this is a renal diet cookbook for beginners who we'll just go to pixabay to search for diet or salad or anything that relates to healthy eating this is pixabay let's just search food and see what that will give us so once you search food you start looking for beautiful or attractive images i like this one you just right click on it copy then you go back to canva and paste it once it appears like this you just move it to any of the frames that you would like to put it if i drag it to this frame now you will see that it will occupy that particular box we go back to pixabay again and look for another image to fill up all other boxes i like this one let me download it you right click copy go back to canva and paste it here once you paste it you just drag it to any of the frames that you 
want it to appear then you leave it as you can see it has occupied that place we go back there again this is how you will pick different images to fill up all the spaces let me quickly pause the video and cover up this book covered with different images if you would like to add smoothies to the pictures that would display on the cover you can also search smoothies then you copy and then do the same thing go back to canva and paste it then you drag it to the frame where you want it to show as you can see we have successfully filled up all the frames with different food images now the next thing we want to do is to start creating a space for us to write our title subtitle or any other thing we want to write on this cover the next thing is to go to elements and select the square shape once you click on the shape it will appear on your design interface then you can decide where you want it to be i want to put it here so you just drag it to fill up this portion you want it to fill okay like this if you look at this cover you will see that it's already making sense we've started creating the type of cover i showed you on amazon so when you have this you now decide the color you want to use i want to make this color green so you click on it and you go to colors then you select green or let's use another color we can just leave it as red or we select anything from the grid colors you can scroll down to choose this color okay let's leave this one then we can complement it with color white so as it is like this this is what we're going to write the title of this book we can create another space for the subtitle and the author name so let's duplicate this make it color white and then put it where we would want it to be let's say we want our author name to appear somewhere here we just leave it like that we're coming back to use it to write what we want then you click it to duplicate it again then you come somewhere here to write something like okay i don't think i like this color let me change it back to red and see what it will look like you know we're just exploring colors now okay this is red let me change this to red too so it will at least come out i can make this color green just so that we we'll have beautiful color combinations yes now let's start writing our title and subtitle the title of this book is renal diet cookbook so we go to text the first thing we want to write is renal diet like this you just make it a little bigger so it will show very well remember the title has to be big so people would see it very well now you have renal diet like this let's change that to color white you click on it go to colors and you select white i want to change this font so let's go and look for fonts there's a particular font that i like using for write-ups like this you just click on fonts and then select your preferred font okay i like to use this one yes it's bold i like it renal diet i like it like this renal diet then cookbook let's look for another font to use in writing cookbook now we have cookbook we can put it directly under like this we have renal diet cookbook like this we can still decide to put that inside another box so we just click on this duplicate it take it to where that cookbook is like this i'm just exploring it's not like i have anything in mind before i'm just exploring to see if we can get a more beautiful design so we can make that color green let's see what green would look like since we're already using green then you send it to the back so that the cookbook you wrote will be showing yes as you can see we have renal diet cookbook like this this looks nice already so now we can now add our subtitles let me quickly write the subtitles so i won't take much of our time i have added the subtitles so we have quick and easy low salt recipes to reverse kidney diseases that's a short subtitle look Looking at this green i want to add line color to it so you just click on the green box you see this line here the border line you click on it and then you increase the border a little like this you can just make it color white you see this color beside it you click on that color and then you choose white yes i think it is more attractive like this then this place is for our pen name i'll just write my name there legal naira this is my name i'll just drag it into the box that i provided for 
my pen name legal naira and that's it the next thing now is to add any bonus or any other attractive text that we want the potential buyers to see one thing i see people write all the time is two thousand or one thousand eight hundred or three thousand days recipes i will explain what that means towards the end of this video so let's just quickly add that so we have two thousand let me write days recipes like this you have two thousand days recipes you just position it where you want it to be okay like this you have two thousand days recipes and as far as i'm concerned this book cover is done as you can see it looks very attractive all we did was to get our grid get all the images we want to use put them in their various frames and then added our title subtitle and every other text that we want to appear on this cover you can still add a bonus if you want to just create a space for it anywhere around the cover and add it as you can see this is the cover look at it very well 2000 days recipes renal diet cookbook this is the subtitle this is the pen name that's all that is needed for a book cover very simple all we did was to get our grid depending on the number of frames we want all these different sections that you can add images are called frames okay so if you want a four frame grid you just go there you search grid under elements you select the one that has only four frames if you want the one that have eight frames ten frames you just select it and then you fill it up with the relevant images this method can be used to design any type of book cover on any niche or any model but it is always more attractive when used for cookbooks or diet books you can use it for travel guide where you need to add different locations inside all these grids and then put your book title the subtitle and you are good to go we can decide to change everything now and say we don't want it to look like this we can decide to move this up let me quickly do that you can decide to move this up here okay change everything move the title up put the book title here move this one here too put the subtitle under it change the colors you change this to white let's try white and see what white is going to give us color white you change this to red change the subtitle also to red okay you see that we are changing the face of everything you can still leave this one as green then you come here you change this to green it depends on what you want you can change the color to anything you want as long as the colors are complementary and they make sense towards your design as you can see you can decide to also give this one borderline you just click on it you see this line you click on the line increase the borderline okay when you increase the borderline like this you can now change the borderline color to any color that you like let's use green so our design doesn't look awkward as you can see it's this simple you can put it anywhere you like as long as it makes sense you see you can decide to add a bonus here too if you want to add a bonus just go to elements and you type call out C A double L O U T call out. Once you type call out, you click see all under graphics. You click see all. Okay, you can see a lot of them. Then you select the one that fits your design. So let's select this one. It seems this is the only one that is free to use. You just click on it and then it will appear on your design interface. Just drag it to where you want it to be. Then you increase the size. Okay, you can increase the size like this. Then you write bonus or you can write bonus meal planner inside. Let me quickly do that. As you can see, I just added a bonus meal planner inside with the call out. So you can design it the way you like. It depends on what you want. All I've just shown you here is how to use the grid to achieve this type of book covers i hope this is clear if you go back to amazon and you look at these covers you will see that there's nothing special about them all they did was just to get the grid then filled up the spaces or the frames with the images and then started writing their title subtitle and every other thing they want to write on the cover i hope this is clear i would really want to see your designs for this day five challenge 
change so that we can make a lot of corrections and you will get better at designing these types of book covers for watching this video till the end i want to give you three special bonuses bonus number one you see these two thousand days recipes or three thousand days recipes or one thousand eight hundred days recipes it is actually used to convince buyers to think that this book contains two thousand or more than two thousand recipes it's actually talking about how many days or how many times the person can use the recipes in this book but when buyers see it they will see it like this person means that the book has two thousand recipes so you can always use it in your book if you want to try and use that same method to convince buyers bonus number two if you really want to make sales with cookbooks you need to start making or creating or writing cookbooks that cures diseases or help old people manage their diseases okay like kidney diseases high blood pressure heart diseases alzheimer diseases that affect the brain these are the types of books that even sell the most i mean cookbooks bonus number three you can design only this cover the way it is you can design this exact cover and use it for more than 50 books yes just change the title and the subtitle or the colors and you are good to go you can leave the images like that as long as the images relate to the book you're writing so as it is like this i can use this book cover for renal diet cookbook i can use it for weight loss diet cookbook i can use it for weight gain diet cookbook i can use it for mind diet cookbook dash diet cookbook i can this is for all the diet cookbooks that i want to write all i'll need to do is to just change the title the subtitle and the colors if i like the color is not even compulsory if you like you can leave the colors like that that is what you get for watching this video till the end at the end of all my videos i always add a bonus so make sure you always watch my videos till the end and if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so now because you'll be missing a lot if you don't subscribe subscribing will help you get instant notification whenever i post new videos like this like share and leave a comment in the comment section section down below if you have any questions i'll attend to it as fast as i can thank you very much for watching i'll see you on day six